First up on our list is the Buran series of vehicles. You might be surprised to learn that they're made by a company that used to work in aviation. But don't worry, these Burans only fly on the roads, reaching speeds of up to 100 km per hour. What's really cool about these cars is their modular design. For example, you can turn a Buran into an ambulance with room for four stretchers, or into a truck that can carry up to 10 tons. And even with all that versatility, they still offer a decent level of protection. According to media reports, the Buran can keep its crew and passengers safe from a 6kg explosive projectile coming from 80 meters away. International Armoured Group has created an armoured crane that can help with rescue and evacuation operations in dangerous areas. Not only does it protect against attacks with 7.62 by 51mm NATO ammunition, but it also has protection against mine explosions under the vehicle, as well as collisions with wheels or tracks. The crane has a two-person crew, a driver and an operator, and can handle loads up to 13 tons. It comes in either 4x4 or 6x6 wheel configuration and is powered by a 380 horsepower diesel engine. Panhard introduced their crab buggy back in 2012, and it looks like John Cockerell had a similar idea with their Cockerell IX, which was first shown in March 2022. Both vehicles seem to have been designed by the same team, with experts highlighting their versatility, high speeds, and advanced technology. For example, the Crab has an unmanned turret, while the Cockerel IX has AI algorithms and specialized helmets. Both vehicles can be equipped with 25 or 30mm cannons, but the Cockerel IX is faster, reaching speeds of 200 km per hour compared to the Crab's 100 km per hour. However, the Crab can drive sideways, living up to its name. Which one do you prefer? Sao Paulo is known as the cultural capital of Brazil, but it also has a high crime rate. In fact, it ranks 11th on the list of the most dangerous cities in South America. To help combat crime, the local police ordered six Garda armored vehicles. These vehicles have a universal capsule that can be transformed into a mobile command center or a first aid station, and they can hold up to 22 people in addition to the crew. The Garda is built on a man-truck chassis, and it can climb slopes up to 60 degrees and cross water obstacles up to 60 centimeters deep. As for armor, the Garda has passed Stanag 3 tests, withstanding fire with 7.62 by 51mm NATO ammunition from up to 30 meters away. The Chaser 980B6 is a versatile armored boat that can be customized for a variety of tasks, from anti-piracy raids to search operations, infantry transports, and emergency assistance. It can reach speeds of up to 93 km per hour and can accommodate two crew members and four passengers. One of its great advantages is its compact size, as it can fit into a standard 12-meter-long sea container for transportation. The windows are bulletproof, and the cockpit is made of a fully armored monocoque constructed from ballistic steel. If it's raining, you should bring an umbrella. And if there are protests, these mobile barricades are what you need. They're made all over the world. Take, for example, the South Korean model Gino Rex, 
Not only can it push back protesters, but it also has a water cannon system that can hit targets up to 70 meters away. The barricade is made of steel, and each section is 4 meters wide. They can unfold in just 60 seconds from the cabin. The manufacturer can make the Geno Rex in 4x2 and 6x4 configurations, and it comes equipped with several cameras and a video recording system. Police ATVs are agile, but they lack protection. That's where the LD-1 upgrade comes in. It may look basic, with ballistic shields mounted on a frame with brackets designed for a specific ATV model, but don't be fooled. The LD-1 offers 360-degree protection and has passed tough tests under the NIJ standard, one of the world's most rigorous ones. It can even withstand fire from ammunition up to 7.62 by 51 mm NATO. The next vehicle on our list is perfect for assault teams. Its standout feature is a folding ramp that makes it easy to quickly climb into buildings, trains, and even ships. But that's not all the Inca Sentry TIV has to offer. It can seat up to 10 people, has a powerful 330 horsepower diesel engine, and is armored to withstand rifle fire. Plus, the manufacturer offers optional features like a siren and a PA system. Some years ago, Turkey decided to build its first universal landing ship, but they needed a way to transport and land personnel effectively. To find the best solution, they launched the Zaha program. As part of it, the Turkish defense company FNSS developed an amphibious armored personnel carrier called FNSS Zaha. It was introduced to the Turkish army last year and can transport personnel on water at 13 km per hour and on land at 70 km per hour. It has room for 21 people, including the commander, the gunner, and the driver. The basic armament includes a 40mm grenade launcher and a 12.7mm machine gun, and it also comes with a smoke generator. One interesting feature is the removable blocks that allow the APC to be used safely in waves up to four points. Not so long ago, two German companies, Rebo and Rheinmetall, had an idea. Rebo makes agricultural machinery, while Rheinmetall is one of the largest European manufacturers of armament and military equipment. They decided to team up and build an armored tractor, and thus Steel Buddy was born. Rheinmetall engineers designed an improved removable cab, which was then mounted on Rebo's 6R series tractor. The result is a machine that's perfect for working in areas with unexploded ordnance. It can even withstand a close burst from an 88mm fragmentation projectile. And if that's not enough, Steel Buddy tractors can also be equipped with an optional fire suppression system. Straight Group is a company that works on a variety of projects, from bulletproof glass to mobile checkpoints. But what's really interesting is their work on military equipment. They make everything from compact armored vehicles to huge APCs with 8x8 wheel arrangements. They also take on special orders, like the MADF. This equipment is designed for air defense and can handle off-road use too. If you want to know more about it, Straight Group encourages you to email them for more details. Hey. 
The Arcus Scarabee made its debut at the Paris Air Show, which might seem surprising, until you realize that this armored vehicle can be transported by both planes and helicopters. In fact, it can even be airdropped from a special platform. On the ground, the Scarabee is no slouch either, with a top speed of 130 km per hour. It can also move sideways like a crab to avoid exposing its sides to enemy fire. The vehicle has room for three passengers, plus a driver, and its power plant is a diesel-electric hybrid. Plus, its swinging doors provide extra protection for disembarked soldiers. The Resvani tank is a luxury SUV that combines technology with the durability of Army armored vehicles. If you're a car enthusiast with money to spare, this vehicle has everything you could want. It boasts a 1,000 horsepower engine, bulletproof windows, night vision, smoke screens, and even explosive detection. And while it may cost a hefty $259,000, which is about the same as eight Tesla Model Ys, Resvani Motors claims it's the most rugged, powerful, and extreme SUV on the planet. The Stena Complex was developed based on the needs of law enforcement officers, who are the end users. Kalashnikov specialists were able to cut the deployment time in half, so now Stena can be set up in just three and a half minutes to block aggressive groups. The barrier is almost eight meters wide, and its shape changes as it moves, with the load being transferred to the vehicle's frame. The complex also has a blade that can break through barricades and move obstacles weighing up to two and a half tons. Plus, the built-in lights in the fence sections ensure efficient operation at any time of day. Remember the Gino Rex barricade truck? Well, its manufacturer has another interesting vehicle called the Titan 15. The engineers came up with a unique solution. Both the engine and the water cannons can be controlled from a central operating room. This makes the Titan 15 safer than many other similar trucks, and it can also serve as a mobile command center. The water cannons can shoot up to 90 meters and have a reserve of 15,000 liters. The truck also has cameras for all-around visibility and a launcher for smoke and tear grenades. The Kronos submarine was tested for the first time this year but it's already making headlines on popular websites like New Atlas and the New York Post. So why all the buzz? Well, first of all, Kronos was built with stealth technology, which means its hull is covered in a special material that makes it hard to detect by sonars. Secondly, it's the first submarine in the world that can make a 180-degree turn underwater at full speed, which is 50 kilometers per hour. And third, the Kronos has a hybrid propulsion system with an electric motor and a diesel generator. It can also dive down to 250 meters and has room for up to 11 people, including the pilot. During Hurricane Harvey in September 2017, looters attacked firefighters and police officers. Unfortunately, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. That's why a vehicle like the Lenko Medcat G3 is so important. One law enforcement officer compared it to body armor because of its advanced ballistic protection and mil-spec steel elements. But it's not just about protection. The Medcat G3 also has impressive off-road capabilities. 
It can drive through water up to 122 centimeters deep, which is incredibly valuable after a hurricane. Inside the current version of the MedCats, there's enough room for two stretchers, onboard oxygen tanks, compartments for medical supplies, and a work area with suspension. And even when there aren't any hurricanes or disasters, you can change the tires and feel confident driving on regular roads. The CB90HSM is a high-speed boat made by Saab. It's an updated version of the CB90, which was known for being able to provide a quick and easy disembarking on rocky shores and was first used in 1991. The CB90 HSM is still meant for coastal waters, but it's got some new features. It's got two Scania diesel engines that produce a combined 1800 horsepower, which means that it can go up to 83 kilometers per hour and travel 1,482 kilometers on a single tank of gas. It can seat up to 21 people, including three crew members, and the inside has been completely modernized for comfort. The boat can also be equipped with various weapons and electronics, like automatic grenade launchers, non-lethal weapons, thermal images, and laser rangefinders. Basically, the CB90 HSM has become faster, more maneuverable, and better at observing its surroundings. The Swedish Navy plans to use these boats until at least 2040. The UK is known for having a unique approach to tank construction, with their armoured fighting vehicles often being described as peculiar. For instance, the Challenger is the only modern NATO tank to have a rifled gun. British designers have also made surprising choices when it comes to APCs, such as the Saracen FV603. This wheeled APC, which was produced from 1952 to 1970, still turns heads today. Despite only producing just over a thousand units, the Saracen FV603 was widely used, even making its way to Indonesia. The APC can seat up to 12 people, including three crew members, and has a top speed of 72 km per hour and a range of 390 km. It also comes equipped with two machine guns, one with a caliber of 7.62 mm and the other with a caliber of 7.7 mm. No, this isn't a new Batman movie, but a real-life car called the Falcatus. If the name sounds familiar, you might be a history buff. It comes from the word Falcata, which is a type of sickle sword used in ancient Roman chariots. But let's get back to the present. The Falcatus is designed for the Russian Special Services, so there's not a lot of info available on its technical specs. But here's what we do know. It uses the chassis from the Kamaz 4911 Extreme. The gearbox has 12 stages. The diesel engine has 730 horsepower. It can reach speeds of up to 160 km per hour. The troop compartment has enough room for 10 soldiers. And the armor can withstand 12.7mm armor-piercing incendiary bullet shot from a sniper rifle.